What's going on everyone? I'm Gold Gas. This episode is about thermal couples. Today we're going to look at a thermal couple tester from Regan. I'm going to show you how to test it with a multimeter and also I'm going to hook up a gas valve, attach the thermal couple and show you how it holds it open. If there's something in particular you want to see, drop a comment below and I'll see what I can do. If you enjoy, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Push that bell notification button as well. If you don't do that, you might miss out on some uh, new videos that drop, maybe some new promotions and new competitions, so it's worth doing. Here's what I've got on my van. Got nickel plated long life thermocouples, usually used in LPG. Got the Universal, Super Universal. Got a few more little fittings in that one. Got a Q309A which will fit the Honeywell gas valves, the grey button ones. And I've got a little Baxi one here as well. I think this fits the early solos. As you can see with the Super Universal, the probe part is threaded. So you could put little nuts on there to sort of adjust the height and where it, how far it sits in the pilot assembly. fittings in all the bags here the super universal tends to have the most the nickel plated ones have got a couple of different types ones threaded as well as mentioned usually for LPG as they last longer got a couple of overheat style ones as well for the Morco water heaters do quite a lot of them Now for the Regan thermocouple tester, bargain this thing is, just good to confirm whether it is the thermocouple or whether or not you've got a faulty pilot or something else, that is just good for confirmation really. So you wind in the end into the open part of the tester, screw it down so it tightens it and then you want to get a naked flame on the thermocouple. This is on an oxy pilot. Get the flame on there. So it heats it up so it expands, creates voltage or micro volts. Push the button down on the tester. Now, if the thermocouple is working, it will hold that button in. I'm meant to hold it for a few seconds here, which is why I'm holding it so long. It is going to be quite a lengthy one. I'm just going to show you how to use it properly as per instructions. So Bear with me or skip ahead if you're not interested in this or waiting around. This one's holding, so the thermal couple's good. So that'll hold that until it's cooled down and it releases. It's going to take probably about 60 seconds or so. Out she pops, test complete. This next one, I've hooked up an old gas valve of a Kingfisher to the mains, so there'll be demand. And basically gonna recreate what's in the boiler and hopefully you can get a good view of the plunger and the thermal couple holding it open when it's heated. So this essentially, if it was in the boiler and live, it would have gas running through. And if the pilot goes out, it knocks that plunger down and stops the gas. You would also hear the click, like your click test in your books.
another way you can test and bear with me on this one because I uh, I lost my multimeter so I'm sort of using an old one it hasn't got clamps it would be much easier if I had the clamps and you want to set your multimeter to micro volts hook the red to the end part of the thermocouple and put the black on the copper part and then you want to heat the thermocouple up and the voltage should go higher as you can see here If you've opened the thermocouple or unraveled it, little trick here to re uh, reel it back up. Get something round, preferably hard. Doesn't have to be a bottle of bubbles. And then you can actually just wind it round it and it will come out just like new. If you add me on social media, on Instagram or Twitter, then you can find some competitions, promotions and some plumbing disasters as well. That does it for this video. Thanks for watching.